I've went to the tour. Uh, I did a few good results in the classics. At the end of the season, like all the races, and I saw the, the world's gravel uh, is uh, like the last week, and it's in uh, it's in the same region uh, region as I. As the races I'm finishing with the team, so it's like a win-win, and uh, of course it's it's a jersey uh, that you can win. So it's really uh, good to, for the motivation at the end of the season, keep the morale high. If I would take one race, um, the parkour is completely different, but the, I think the effort will be a bit the same. I, I would compare it actually to Paris Roubaix. Uh, because it's a long, steady effort, um, hard all the time. It's not, I think it's, I can be wrong, but I think it's not going to be a race with uh, a lot of peaks uh, in, uh, regarding power and then more steady or slower uh, in between. I think it's just going to be a, a high pace uh, that's going to fatigue all the riders. And then at the end, yeah, it's going to explode for sure. Yeah, my bike setup changes uh, quite a bit. The, the biggest difference is, of course, the, the tires. The, on the gravel bike, you have uh, much wider tires. I'm running 38s now. Might, I might switch, switch to uh, 35, still have to decide. Then I'm riding a single plateau in the front on the gravel bike, um, which means I have to have a, a really big reach in uh, terms of gear in the back to cover up all the all the hard parts, uh, but also all the fast parts. The geometry of the bike is actually pretty similar to my uh, to my road bike. Yeah, my kit is going to be uh, almost the same actually. I'm still using my road shoes, um, same uh, race suit, uh, socks, everything. Um, I don't like to switch things up too much, especially if we look at the shoes, because if you, you can use different cleats, but then uh, your position changes, then um, it's maybe a different uh, pressure on, on the knee. I still, I also, I still have a lot of uh, road races left. I think five, so uh, I, I cannot afford to injure myself and uh, not be able to compete in, uh, in those road races. Yeah, the difference between a road race um, with the team or a gravel race uh, is, is, is pretty uh, is pretty big. Um, yeah, first of all, in the gravel race, uh, I'm alone now. I don't have uh, any teammates, so uh, I'll have to cover up all the attacks uh, or all the important attacks myself. I, uh, tactics going to be a bit different, um, and then yeah, also the the effort is is uh, not uh, not the same. And in, in a road race, you're pretty much. In most of the races, you're pretty much waiting to a key moment in the race where it, it explodes. But I expect that, uh, like the gravel uh, world championships, will be like an, an all-out effort from the start, and uh, will be like a, an elimination race uh, all day. <laughs> in the race, I will try to to hit the, for sure the 100, 120 grams of carbs per hour. Um, I'm used to a high carb intake. I, I practice it a lot on, on training in the races, so it should not be a problem for me. And then we'll have to wait and see how the weather is there in, uh, in Veneto. If it's hot, I'll probably go try to aim for two bidons uh, per hour, if it's possible. Then we'll have to see how I uh, divide the gel and uh, bottle intake. Um, but I'm pretty confident that I will hit uh, the 120 grand. Yeah, so normally we have a, a paper on the stem where we can see our nutrition uh, for the day. Uh, and I think in the gravel worlds I will put something different, like uh, with the, the key points, um, important zones or something. Um, but I always have the like my nutrition plan in my head. I also like uh, plan it up front in an app where I can see uh, if I take uh, this amount of drink mix and then this amount of gels, then. Uh, I'll hit uh, that amount of carbs, so uh, I'll definitely plan it uh, properly up front and uh, try to to remember uh, and to try to remember myself of eating and drinking all the time. But I have a, an alert on my Garmin which uh, says every 20 minutes that I have to eat and drink. So uh, yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I think I'll, I'll be focused enough to to hit those numbers.
My dream gravel race um, after my career would be uh, would be Unbound uh, or the Lifetime series in general. Gravel is definitely becoming more popular in the peloton. If you see, um, like Mathieu van der Poel already competed last year. Uh, you had a, a ton of pros there. Uh, I think this year also a lot of pros will take the start. Uh, if I only think about the Belgians, what Van Aert is going to be there. Uh, yeah, uh, I think I think I'm going to be surprised with how many familiar faces I will see uh, on the start line uh, in Veneto.